And a response video on a couple of subjects, unfortunately. I'm going to mix them, but they're both related to this uh, G1981C guy. So, um, on the end of this video, I'll tack on a video response I started on the economics issue. But his video was so obnoxious, I just wouldn't play it. Um, it just it was just so cliche. Um, you're, you know, Stalin, Hitler. I mean, these are, if these are your primary arguments, this is how you start a video talking about how, because you believe in public library style, um, you know, lifestyle civilization, that somehow you're Stalin and Hitler. I mean, come on, it's just insane <laughs> rhetoric. So I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to reward it by acknowledging it. Um, so anyway, they did a video, Gary series, Gary's fail series, Gary fail series, um, surprise antinatalism fail. Um, you know, and it, it's, you know, he concedes the point that yeah, we're just wrapped up in a whole bunch of bullshit psychology, the human race. Um, but then he comes back at the end and just does the Carlin thing, which is always just such a cop out. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know if George Carlin, you know, if he could meet him in the future and from one of his movies or something, and he could look back at that uh, joke and uh, say that maybe he shouldn't have been quite that cynical. Um, because what's, what's, what, is it, what does it take to communicate with the human race? Does it really take that much effort? I would argue that every person is capable of being persuaded by the truth, by a nice, rational, disciplined, well-presented um, bit of the truth. And always for each individual, it's going to have to be presented a little bit different because they're going to react emotionally and all of that crap, and they're going to get defensive, and they're going to do all kinds of things like that. Quite obviously, <clears throat> I haven't done that. I haven't conformed the language to some universal translation that works on any brain. But I would argue that it's there for the taking, okay? <laughs> the argument is there for the making, and it's just a matter of, yeah, we do fail if we don't make it. Um, but this whole idea of just sitting in the stands being a, a deaf, mute um, spectator is about as fail as you can get. You can't get more fail than being a spectator in the war, or being a spectator in any of anything. You no, know, you can't get more failed than that, especially a silent spectator. When all it takes for you, like, you know, uh, Caesar stands up and he asks you for the thumbs up and the thumbs down, and you can't even do that much, um, then you suck. <laughs> you know, then, then that's total fail. So, yeah, I'm not as big a, I'm not as big a fail as you are, in the sense that you're going to just play, you're going to be a hypocrite. You're going to know it's bullshit, and you're going to still stay in the stands and watch the game. Um, that's a bigger fail. I'm going to try to do something about it. Um, and that's got to be better than your nothing. I mean, something is better than nothing in this case. Because the something is all good. All in the interest of um, fixing, not breaking. And uh, not accepting broken. Whatever, however you want to word it. So I'll play a little bit. The reality of helping others, etc., is based directly on the perceived need to survive as a collective, which is, as we know, is bogus. Therefore, the morality itself is null and void. And there is absolute. Yeah. So he's making some kind of connection that there's this absolute morality that. Um, I just don't get, you know, that somehow is in conflict with the idea that it's in the collective interest in the long term to slow the wheel down enough so the squirrel can jump out. Um, you know, that it is just momentum, and the only thing keeping people in the car is fear of the crash. And if we slow the car down, they'll be willing to jump out. Um, yeah, well, whatever the analogies are going to be, um, I think the point is, is just what you said. You know, people do believe it. People do understand it. They understand it for a reason. So that reason can be duplicated. It can be synthesized into some sort of sentences and words and images and something. It can be synthesized and re and, and made and made convertible into other brains. It's not like you know people aren't actually retarded. They're retarded by misinformation and. To, to get rid of their information, misinformation is difficult. I mean, you have to pry it out of their heads. And, uh, yeah, it's not going to, it's not, no, who's, who said it would be easy? But the point is not to try, it's just fucking lame as hell. There's no real need 
to solve the problem because the problem exists only as defined by the bogus morality. In other words, yes, the only way to solve the problems we have in this world is to blow this planet to fuck up. But there is absolutely no need to solve the problem. Just fuck it. There's no need. To- <laughs> yeah, see, I just don't. I don't even get that. You know, it's like okay, um, you find out that everybody's dying of cholera, so you move upstream. And then you figure out that, oh yeah, well it's probably everybody's got cholera because they're shitting in their drinking water. And then you just sit and watch the people still die because they're shitting in their drinking water. I mean, you don't even try to convey the information or try to stop it from happening or to do anything. You just sit and watch the horror and know that your kids might be living in that shithole or that some future person who might be very much like you might still be living on the bottom of the hill. I mean, why would you do that? That would be idiotic. So I just don't understand how this morality thing doesn't extend beyond your own personal welfare. I mean, if you're saying that people are basically selfish assholes, yeah. Um, But the point is, is they can be unselfish assholes if they merely understand that it's sort of in their own self-interest in the sense that they're a consciousness, all the other consciousnesses are consciousness, if they can see the equality of all the pawns, if they can become part of the collective of pawns, pawns, and understand that the pawns are being abused, then they can identify with that thing, and that thing can be them. You know, it's not that complicated. We do that fairly easy. We, we put ourselves into a class or a group of, of especially when they're abused, especially when you have a common... Um, sense of of exploitation um it's we're pretty good at doing that and so that changes the moral question the reason to give a shit there's absolutely nothing we have to do just sit back enjoy the show as george carlin said become a spectator and fuck it yeah well like i say (laughs) even enjoying the show is sort of ludicrous um, so you've already made yourself a failure. If you're enjoying the show, you're worse than the assholes in the show. I mean, if you're, if you're enjoying watching people die of cholera, then, you know, you're sort of much worse than them. Even though they're stupid enough to shit in their own drinking water, you're stupid enough to find it entertaining to watch people suffer. So if you can sit back and just enjoy the show, you suck. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you either do something... Or you die. But yeah, those are your two choices. You don't watch. Um, Fuck you, if you're going to (laughs) watch. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I I just, I've made this argument before, but I mean, there's just, to me, there's just no rationality to thinking you win in any, (laughs) in this game. There's no you, okay? You're one consciousness that's identical to all the other consciousnesses. And to say that somehow the game is made better because your one pawn escaped... It's just stupid, okay, if you leave the other pawns there. And if you, especially if you squandered the opportunity to save more pawns, then you're just, you suck. There's no other word for that. That's suck. I might be fail, but you're suck. So there. Um, anyway, so yeah, the economic stuff on the end of this video. And that should do it. This is enough. Oh, yeah, you did make a rational comment on the brain crap. So, this is why I give this guy some kind of credit. This was a pretty good comment. Uh, What we think is quite simple. Our game is to kill our own individual pain, both physical and emotional. The best medicine we discovered so far is lies. We lie to ourselves, to others, and we manifest our lives to physical reality through mechanisms like children, church, etc. Civilization on a whole is a physical manifestation of our schizophrenia, which in turn stems from our inability to accept the truth. Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, yeah, that's what some people do, (laughs) and they have to get past that. And, uh, like I said, even if we, we can still be it. I mean, like, we can still be monkeys and gorillas and assholes. All we have to do is admit that that's what we are, and then we can fix it in the future. But if we won't admit it, yeah, then we can't fix it. It's pretty simple. But anyway, um, yeah, so in general, fuck you, but, yeah, I still find you tolerable in some circumstances. I don't know what to do about that exactly, but we'll see.
All right, economics video. Probably going to be a little lengthy, but I'll try to resist the temptation because it's an 18-minute video I'm responding to, and I've only gotten 21 seconds into it. And the whole premise is, again, stupid. I made a video outlining three ways, basically, to disable legacy wealth, which I believe is the whole corruption of capitalism. It's the corruption of any economic system. It's a glaring, gigantic flaw giving the rewards of merit and, and um, accomplishment to people who have demonstrated no merit or accomplishment. It's like saluting people who haven't earned it. It's stupid. It's glaring. It's obvious. And you're not arguing that. You're just arguing bullshit. So when I say flaw, then you turn around and say, well, the world thinks you're flawed. That's totally irrelevant to my argument. I don't care if everybody on earth thinks I'm a jackrabbit. I don't care. I'm making an argument. You have to make a counter-argument to my argument, not talk about who doesn't like me. That's really irrelevant. Shithead. All right, I'll try to listen to some more of this guy. He's a nice guy, but he's an idiot. Yeah, I didn't get too far. So, 51 seconds into it now, he's called me a socialist and said Hitler is my friend. <laughs> you know, it's just so stupid. I don't know if I'm going to bother playing the rest of your video. I mean, is it really worth my time? Is that the best you got? So, Hitler was for um, developing um, not-for-profit businesses and uh, paying workers and not paying owners. Uh, not taxing work, taxing interest, um, capital. Yeah, that, those are all Hitler policies, right? No, I don't think so, asshole. And yeah, I got, uh, yeah, a whole four seconds later or something. Um, you know, so he, now he's, he's basically compared um, creating not-for-profit businesses to killing the Jews. And that uh, Hitler got in, eliminated in the end. And I'm going to get eliminated in the end. Well, whatever. You want to call me a mass murderer because uh, I propose not-for-profit businesses. Well, okay, fine. Uh, but I think it makes you look like a preposterous asshole. Stupid, and their brain started to get smaller. And that's what you want to do. You want to give everybody who's hungry more food so that they can get even number. That's not maximizing human potential. Yeah, well, that's just crap, obviously. Um, yeah, that. what does that have to do with uh, taking owners, silly owners, who don't do any work, okay, who don't show any merit, who, if you psychologically analyze them honestly, you'd find them the most depraved, useless creatures on the earth. The spawn of the rich become nothing. They're lunatics, they're mass murderers, they're all kinds of crazy motherfucker all over the place. They commit suicide at a higher rate. They do everything debaucherous and useless at a higher rate. Um, so it's just a stupid argument. Um, I'm not defending giving the poor people free money. I'm not a socialist. You can keep saying it. You can just keep labeling me that. I'm talking about paying people to work. Asshole. I didn't talk about paying people not to work. I didn't mention it anywhere. So you're just playing the same old fucking red baiting bullshit cards because you have no argument. You can't deal with the fucking specific um, changes to the system I offered. Again, you're saying, well, the shit system is shit. You can't fix the shit. Um, it's just a cop out. Yeah, that's all you're doing. You're just copping out. Fine. You do your little cop-out thing. I'll do my thing. But we're not having a discussion about anything real because you won't discuss anything real. I put it on the plate and you're ignoring it. So fuck you. Alright, this is it. I'm not, I'm not going to play any more of his videos. Now he's talking about the fact that I want to somehow break people's legs and kill people and all this kind of crap. And it's just bullshit and it's just a waste of my fucking time. So yeah, you've wasted my time. Uh, uh, task accomplished. You're, I'm just, fuck it. Yeah, I, I just, I'm not, I'm just unsubbing. I'm not going to pay attention to you anymore. You're just not worth the trouble. You're off the subject. Um, you just wasted my time. This is just bullshit. It's not a complex proposal. Explain how the proposal won't... Hi, everybody. It's Peter Schiff. This is won't, Friday. Won't, won't fix the problem. Explain something, but you explain nothing. You say nothing. Goodbye. Have a nice life. See you never. So, enough of this shit.